An earthquake of magnitude 6.0 to 6.1 has just violently shaken the western region of Turkey just a few hours ago, sending waves of panic through millions of people in Istanbul, Izmir, and other major Turkish cities. The epicenter was located five miles, eight kilometers, southeast of the city of Sindirge in Balkisir province, a region that has been experiencing intense seismic activity in recent months. This is not an ordinary tremor. It is one of the most significant earthquakes to hit the Istanbul metropolitan area in months, directly affecting more than 15 million people. Approximately 81 miles, 130 kilometers, northeast of Izmir, hidden among the mountains of western Anatolia, lies the Balakasir region, a geologically complex area where the Eurasian and African tectonic plates exert immeasurable pressures on the Earth's crust. This specific region has historically been a convergence point of seismic forces, located dangerously close to the infamous North Anatolian Fault, one of the most active fault zones on the planet. For centuries, this area has witnessed the catastrophic release of energy accumulated in the depths of the Earth, shaping not only the local geography, but also the destiny of millions of lives. The earthquake occurred precisely at 22 hours and 48 minutes local time this Monday, October 27, 2025, at a relatively shallow depth of only 3.7 to 6.8 miles, 6 to 11 kilometers, uh, below the surface. This shallow depth is particularly concerning, as shallow earthquakes tend to cause more intense shaking and more severe damage to surface structures. Witnesses reported that the uh, tremor lasted between 30 to 40 seconds, an eternity when you are experiencing the earth moving violently beneath your feet. Residents of Istanbul, the megalopolis of 15 million inhabitants, described moments of absolute terror as buildings swayed visibly and the ground trembled beneath their feet. Videos on social media show people desperately running to the streets, abandoning their homes and workplaces in search of safety outdoors. The intensity of the tremors was such that it was clearly felt across a vast region that includes the provinces of Bursa and Sanakale affecting an estimated population of more than 10 million people in multiple important cities. Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Authority confirmed that at least three buildings collapsed in the epicenter region, although detailed reports on casualties are still being collected by emergency teams on the ground. What makes this event particularly alarming is that this same Sundurga region was hit by a magnitude 6.1 earthquake on August 10th of this year, resulting in one person losing their life and dozens injured. Since that devastating event, the region has experienced more than 12,000 aftershocks, creating a constant state of anxiety among local residents. Seismology experts are closely monitoring the situation, as more than 20 significant aftershocks have already been recorded in the first hours after the main earthquake. The strongest aftershock, with magnitude 4.2, occurred just two minutes after the main tremor, at 22 hours and 50 minutes, at a depth of 4.3 miles, 7 kilometers. The sequence of seismic events indicates that the region remains extremely unstable, with the real possibility of additional tremors in the coming hours and days. The global seismic monitoring system recorded that approximately 12,000 people were exposed to severe shaking, 15,000 to very strong shaking, and an impressive 599,000 people experienced strong shaking. Even more alarming, about 10,850,000 people felt light shaking demonstrating the massive reach of this seismic event. Turkish authorities issued a yellow alert, indicating that some casualties and damage are possible, although the impact should be relatively localized. Western Turkey finds itself in one of the most dangerous seismic zones in the world, strategically positioned where the Anatolian tectonic plate moves inexorably westward, pressed by the Eurasian plate to the north, an African plate to the south, this unique geological configuration creates a complex and interconnected fault system that extends for hundreds of miles through Turkish territory. The North Anatolian Fault, a massive fracture in the Earth's crust that extends for more than 932 miles, 1,500 kilometers, passes dangerously close to the Istanbul metropolitan region, creating a constant seismic threat to millions of residents. Historically, this region has been the stage for some of the most devastating earthquakes in modern Turkish history. The Izmit earthquake of 1999, with magnitude 7.6, resulted in the loss of more than 17,000 lives and caused catastrophic structural damage in a similar area. More recently, the twin earthquakes of February 2023 in southeastern Turkey and northern Syria resulted in the loss of more than 53,000 lives, reminding the entire world of this region's vulnerability to extreme seismic events. 
Geological scientists explain that the current seismic activity in Balakasir may be related to the region's ongoing tectonic adjustment after the major earthquakes of 2023. The massive release of seismic energy in those events may have altered stress patterns along other faults in the region, potentially triggering the current sequence of earthquakes in Balakasir. This theory is supported by the observation that seismic activity has intensified significantly in the western region since the catastrophic February event. The dangerous proximity of this earthquake to the densely populated metropolitan areas of Istanbul and Izmir raises critical questions about seismic preparedness and structural resistance of buildings in the region. Istanbul, a megacity that houses more than 15 million people, has been identified by international seismologists as one of the cities at highest seismic risk in the world, with scientific predictions indicating a significant probability of a major earthquake in the coming decades. Emergency teams and disaster specialists are being rapidly mobilized to the affected region, with Interior Minister Ali Yerlikaya confirming that all relevant units of the Disaster and Emergency Management Authority immediately initiated field assessments. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan declared that relevant units, particularly AFAD, are meticulously continuing their investigations and inspections in the field, and that the government is closely monitoring the process. This rapid response is crucial, considering the devastating experience of previous earthquakes and the need to quickly identify any structural damage that may pose ongoing risks to the population. Health authorities are on maximum alert, with Health Minister Kamal Memesholu confirming that authorities are coordinating closely to monitor the situation. Hospitals in the region are prepared to receive potential victims, while search and rescue teams remain in a state of readiness to respond to any emergency situation that may arise. The traumatic experience of the 2023 earthquakes, where thousands of people were trapped under rubble for days, serves as a somber reminder of the importance of preparation and rapid response. Continuous seismic monitoring reveals that the region continues to experience significant seismic activity, with sensors detecting regular micro-tremors that indicate ongoing tectonic adjustments. Experts warn that residents of the region should remain vigilant and prepared for the possibility of additional aftershocks potentially stronger in the coming hours and days. The unpredictable nature of seismic activity means that the situation can evolve rapidly, requiring constant monitoring and continuous preparation by authorities and the population. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature that shape our planet and wish to continue learning about Earth's most extraordinary seismic phenomena, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to not miss upcoming content about the world's most impactful geological events. Stay informed about this developing situation, as we will continue to closely follow the developments of this significant earthquake and its implications for the region's seismic safety.